graphically solving a system of linear equations. Graph the system below and write its solution. So I have two equations here. One of them is in slope-intercept form, one in standard form. I'm going to graph them on the same coordinate plane here, and I'm looking for the point of intersection. Note that you can also answer no solution or infinitely many solutions. Now, no solution would be if my graph ends up with parallel lines or I have two lines that never cross, then I would have no solution or no point of intersection. An infinite solution system would be two equations that graph exactly the same line right on top of each other. Um, so they have every point in common, every possible point. So I'm going to start with this one right here since it's already in slope-intercept form. Um, my y-intercept is negative 2, so I'm going to go down to negative 2. And then my slope is negative 3 over 1. So from this point, this tells me I'm going to go down 3, forward 1. So down 3, forward 1. Then I have two points and I can draw in my line here. Oh, let's see, I don't think I got that in quite straight enough. I'm going to try it one more time. You won't have this problem when you're actually on the computer in Alex because it'll just snap to the grid so your points will all line up nice. Okay, so there's my line. Now I'm going to graph this one. This one's in standard form. So I have a couple of options. I can graph it using intercepts, which means I'm going to let each variable be 0 for a minute. So if x is 0, or we substitute in 0 right here, then we're left with just 2y equals 1. And y would have to be 1 half. Um, if we let y be 0, then this, the y term, is zeroed out and I'm left with just x equals 1. Now, this intercept, I don't have a problem graphing because x equals 1 is right there. But the, this one, where y is equal to 1 half, when you're actually in Alex, it kind of snaps to the grid, and it won't let you put a point. If you have the pencil tool, it won't let you put a point right there at 1 half. So you're going to have to click this button, this tool, and then it'll open up a little window and let you enter in coordinates for a point you want to put a dot at. So you would actually enter in the 0, 1 half. And then the program itself will put a dot right there for you. Um, the other way to do this, so if you're in the general ed classes, the way to do this is to just rearrange it into y equals form. So I would have to, um, I'll do it up here, x plus 2y equals 1. Um, we're going to subtract x from both sides. And I'm left with 2y equals negative x plus 1. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. So y is equal to, remember there's kind of a hidden or an implied 1 right there in front of the x. So this is negative 1 half x plus 1 half. And again, you're going to have the same problem here. You're going to have to click this point and tell it to put a dot for the y-intercept at positive 1 half right there. And then from that point, you're going to go down one unit and over two units. So down one, over two. So again, you're probably going to have to click on this tool right here. 
and give it the coordinates right here that you want to be at 2 over negative 1 half down. So you can see that from this point I went down one whole unit from positive 1 half to negative 1 half and then over from 0 to 2, 2 units. And once you have those in, a couple of points there, you can draw in your line and we're looking for this point right there where the two lines cross. So my solution down here, you're going to click this right here so it'll let you put in a coordinate pair and we're going to put in negative one, positive one. Those are the coordinates of that point right there. 